Let's go, baby. Five, four, three, two. Come on, let's go! Yeah. Oh, 
What's up guys? Um, so today is September 3rd and today has been a pretty good day. Um, as you if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I had court this morning and it's an awesome feeling when your case gets dismissed. No, I'm not a criminal. Um, I was just speeding. So um, I like to drive fast. You know, I got a fast car, so you gotta drive fast. I live a fast life. So I am at Embody Fitness and I actually just got a membership here. Um, it's a pretty good gym, so I'll take you guys all through it. Have you seen me train legs here? I've done two leg sessions here and that's pretty much all I've trained here. I used to come here when I was younger, but kind of left because of the crowds kind of slow, but I actually like the crowd being slow now. So gonna go in there, hit a push workout and I'll see you guys all in there. All right guys, so hope you guys all enjoyed that little footage with uh, Big J. And now I didn't do a voiceover because I kind of wanted you guys to get a feel for the intensity. Um, when J when Big J comes, it's serious business. I know that you guys watched my um, previous episode with uh, the bench press where we did hit it with uh, Big J also when I hit that 300 pounds and Christian hit that 365. So every time Big J comes, we do hit PRs, I know it's because you know it's that extra push, that extra drive, and that motivation, and someone different coming along to kind of push us, and uh, you know it pushes us to the limit, and you know he pushes big weight, so it makes us want to push big weight. Now I've never in my entire life hit 315 front squat before, and you know I was honestly I was kind of intimidated because I didn't know what to expect. Uh, you know Christian and and Derek and Big J were screaming at me like get up get up get up and um, You know that caused me to 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 hit the rep and I got it. You know, I was really happy because I've never You know, I would never in my entire life think I would hit 315 front squat especially at 160 something pound uh, body weight, so Felt really good that day got it down and You know hope you guys all enjoy the intensity so Back in Embody today, and and a lot of you guys actually ask me why do I you know train here in Body when I can just train at HQ all the time? And sometimes, and the, and the answer to that question is sometimes you know I get off work late. You know Christian and Derek and them they all work at the gym, so they can train whenever. And so sometimes our schedules conflict, and I can't train there because you know I tell them, hey, don't wait for me, man. You know if if you guys have time and train earlier. And sometimes they do that so um, yeah so today I trained here because they trained earlier in the day and uh, I didn't want them to I, I didn't want to hold them up so that's what we did sometimes honestly I really like to train by myself because I kind of do everything myself I just like I don't plan I just go there and I do it I don't have to you know ask hey do you want to do this or do you want to do that sometimes that's good too because there is an extra push but um, you know, sometimes training by myself or training with Brandon really is different because I mix it up because our training styles are, are similar and uh, mine is a mesh between Brandon's training style and Christian's training style. So we kind of mix here and there. But, uh, you know, this gym is 
pretty legit if you guys see the equipment is legit you know the lighting is dope uh, so I do post a lot of pictures from here because I take great pictures here um, I really like the lighting I really love the equipment they have so much versatile equipment so I do come here pretty often because the equipment that they have and um, you know it's it's pretty freaking awesome when I train here so Gonna do OHP next, and I haven't done these in a while, so I'm really testing my strength this day just to see, because I felt like doing OHP. And um, you can see my form is decent, and I push okay weight, I guess. So uh, enjoy this, and uh, let me know what you think about my form, guys. All right, guys, about halfway through my workout, and uh, I actually just finished chest, so first shoulder movement here. Got OHP, overhead press, and uh, first working set. So 135, haven't done this in a long time. So putting 135 on the bar just to see where I'm at in terms of strength on this. So let's go. So finish shoulders, hit some OHP, followed by some lateral raises. So what we're doing now is we're finishing the workout with triceps and we're gonna do a tricep, which is essentially like a superset, but instead of two exercises, it's three exercises. So what we're doing first is straight arm push downs, followed by, okay, overhead rope extension, there you go. And then last is we're gonna overload it with the easy curl push downs. So let's go. So I haven't done OHP in a couple months, but um, just decided to jump back on the wagon that day and do 135, which is decently heavy for OHP. Uh, so after that, like I said, moved on to a tricep with triceps, and I it, this is killer, guys. Um, so we do five sets, 10 reps each exercise, and you do that uh, five times. So 30 reps each set, and you're pushing pretty heavy weight. So when you do five sets, you complete all five sets, it's, it comes out to a total of 150 reps in a very, very short duration of time. And this is killer, guys. I really recommend it because the fact that, one, you're getting a lot more volume in as opposed to doing straight sets. With triceps, it, it's kind of something that, you know, it, one, it, it's, it's a very small muscle group, you know, in comparison to your chest. I know it's three muscle heads, but you know, when you do hit your heavy compound movements on your chest, you're actually working in triceps anyways, you know, everybody knows that. But, you know, by the time you're done training chest and you're done hitting all these heavy compound movements, you're so tired that you don't want to do triceps that much. So this is definitely a great mix up to throw in once in a while and it's uh, it's pretty legit. So definitely give this, shot, give this uh, a shot guys and I guarantee you'll love it. Okay. Give that a shot guys, so 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps. Five sets of that, so that's 30 reps per set, equal out to 150 reps. So overload it, overload, overload, overload. But at the same time, quality reps guys. So 150 reps total, give that a shot. Set number three, and what I'm doing is recording first set, third set, and fifth set. Now, you guys saw it on the last, last exercise on the first set, I made a mistake, I jumped up too quick, and now I'm instantly regretting it my fatigue is already setting in. And what you wanna do, guys, is not push it too fast too soon. So um, take your time, guys, especially on the weight, because leave your ego at the door because it is 150 reps. And uh, I, I can't even, I, I don't even feel my triceps right now. Like I said um, in the video, do not make the mistake of going too heavy too soon because in the first and second set, you realize, hey, you know, this weight isn't too bad. But remember guys, you're doing 150 reps. You get tired pretty quickly, and if you make the mistake by um, jumping too soon on your weights too early, you do get fatigued and, you know, you make the mistake like I did, you have to jump down too much on your on your weights at the very last or fourth or fifth set. And um, you definitely wanna complete these reps rather as opposed to just hitting heavy weight. So leave the heavy weight to the compound movements, guys. Um, obviously, you want to overload your triceps with heavy weight, but you're already doing it anyways by doing 150 reps. Okay, guys, fifth and final set, 10 reps each. Can't, I can't feel my arms. Uh, I can't. But um, gonna push through it. No excuses. Dropping in weight again, honestly, but not by much. Honestly, we're just dropping about 10, five to 10 percent per set. 
and still just trying to get the quality reps in, like I said, quality over quantity reps. So, I only recorded the first set, the third set, and the fifth set, and you can kind of track my progress. And if you look at the weights on each push down, you can see it going down each time because, like I said, I made the mistake jumping on too quick. And uh, I can't, f <laughs> look at my triceps, they're so pumped. And it's because I, there's so much blood in them. And, uh, you know, after the shoulders and chest, this is all I did. I just did five sets with triceps. And then I call it a night because it was enough. I was I was blown away by the pump I had. Obviously, we took pictures, a ton of them. So I try to get great pictures for you guys. So like I said, guys, highly recommend this. And this is re the reason why my triceps are a very strong point as it is as a comparison to my biceps because I used to do this a lot. So if you guys want to grow your triceps, put this at the end of your workout. You know, put this there. And do it for months and months. And your arms are definitely going to grow if you eat enough. So give this a shot, guys. And I'll uh, see you guys on the next clip. Fantastic workout. As you see, the tricep murdered me. My triceps are dead right now. But I'm going to go home. going to recover. Meaning, eat a lot of food. Because that's how you recover, guys. So I um, actually finished off with some more lateral raises just to because my shoulders need to get wider I just naturally need a bigger frame so finish off with some lateral raises and then some stretching and then call it a day so see you guys all in the next clip thanks for watching all right guys so <clears throat> back to my favorite muscle group pull day pull day pull day and uh, started off with some neutral grip pull downs and in my opinion, um, when it comes to, to <clears throat> vertical movements, neutral grip pull down are the absolute best. And, and that's just my opinion, and that's what I've always been going by. Because when I do you know, horizontal movements, I like to do close grip, you know, or closer to your body, you're pulling closer to your body. And I feel like the absolute best contraction um, is in terms of being able to retract my scapula and getting that great stretch. What we did for these was actually five sets of 10. And as you see, we're holding the weight at the bottom, we're holding the weight at the top, pause on oh. each part, and control on the way down. We're not jerking, we're not overly excessively leaning back. It's just a tad bit, just to be able to retract the scapula and pull the elbows back. Um, great movement, guys, great movement, and definitely give these a shot if you have a close grip uh, V-bars at your gym. Got a pool day today. Special guest, my boy Frank, who uh, you guys probably see him in my videos sometimes and then see him in, well he has a YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel, bro? Frank Torres. Frank Torres, and I'm gonna put it in the description box below. And you probably see him in Christian's videos too, so. And he's also Nikki's trainer. And um, him and I are actually hitting back rear delts and biceps. So what we got here today, or next, we actually hit first exercise was the neutral grip pull downs and what we got here next is some seated one arm cable rows let's get it so um, a tip of mine when I when it comes to these uh, seated cable rows or just any back movement in general in terms of horizontal pulling um, I like to grit, get an amazing stretch and as you see look at my stretch compared to um, my contraction uh, I like to stretch a whole lot and I think that's why my back is so developed. When I pull back, however, my elbows don't come too far past my body and I and that's the reason because I don't feel like there is a need to. Um, when I come too far back, I start feeling it in my rotator cuffs because it is a bit unnatural. And you know, w when I do movements, you know, I like to tie it in with everyday activities. Is it natural? Am I doing that? So, when it comes to something <clears throat> in real life, when I'm pulling an object, I'm not going to pull to where my elbows are coming too far past my body. Um, the stretch is always there, you know, that's definitely a given. But as you see, my elbows aren't coming too far back and there's already enough contraction. As you see, if I go too far back, there's already no more movement for the back. You know, I like to keep the isolation on the back in general and <clears throat> This is why I'm able to train my back and not 
uh, activate my biceps as as opposed to how many people do. The next movement we moved on to the uh, T-bar rows, the chest supported T-bar rows. But what I did was I actually grabbed the handle as opposed to stepping on the platform and did some one arm rows, pretty much like dumbbell rows, but a little farther out from your body. And uh, definitely a great movement and no lower back involvement whatsoever, guys. All right, guys, moved on to some weighted pull-ups. Got 50s here. Did a tester set with 30 pounds because I haven't done these in so long. Frank recommended these, so what he wanted me to do was five reps with weighted, drop it, do five with body weight. So see if I can do 50 pounds. Now, I haven't done weighted pull-ups in a while. I used to do them, honestly, when I used to train at Lifetime. Um, I, used, I used to be so strong in this movement. I used to actually do 100 pounds for sets of four, and I used to do kind of four, five sets, even even six sets sometimes. So I was actually pretty strong, but I haven't done these in a while, so I actually got to a maximum weight of 65 pounds, which for me isn't too bad. You know, I, I feel like not doing these in over six months and still being able to pull an additional 65 pounds for a couple reps is, you know, in my standards, pretty strong. And I think that's why my back is so strong, guys. And I think it does have a lot to do with how, you know, you feel about it, how confident you approach each movement. In regards to my back, I am so much more confident in comparison to my chest. So when I pull, I'm a lot more creative, a lot more, I find a lot more angles and I'm able to do a lot more. So I'm a lot more confident and I think that's has, it's like a big reason. Right? Yep. All right, so moved on to some isolateral lat pull downs. And basically these are like individual handles. You can actually pull it one arm at a time and it will come down one at a time. But uh, this is a machine that I've never used before. One, the lighting is amazing. And two, this is like, in my opinion, the back machine of the god. So gonna hit this <laughs> set. And uh, this is actually my third set. So we're hitting just 10 reps here. And I like to lean just a tad bit back and treat my pull downs like rows. Back machine of the gods, guys. <laughs> but uh, finish off uh, my move, my you know workout with some biceps and everything like that. A little bit of rear delts, but uh, that's actually going to conclude this commentary, guys. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please enjoy the rest of the video. We have a little bit of cardio, which I don't do normally, but uh, you know threw it in there just for a mix and. Yeah, guys, enjoy. Love you guys. And don't forget to hashtag HongFit and everything on Instagram. And uh, if you're not following me on Snapchat, be sure to follow me. So it's on the description box below. Love you guys. So I don't know what Frank's got me doing here, but uh, we stepped to the back. Pretty much like a back room and feels like I'm in a cage, sort of. And it's kind of hot in here. But we are doing some supinated curls. I got 35s here, we're doing 10 reps and then we're gonna do some kind of like mini battle ropes. Just use all biceps and forms. 10 and 10. <laughs> these, these groups are so thick. <laughs> Go. 15 seconds. Go. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Don't slow down. Three, two, that's it. Good. Good job. Let's go, baby. Five, four, three, two, that's it. Good. Let's go. Back pump. Quit swinging. Let's go. Use those biceps. Let's go. There you go. Come on.
my forms can't go up. It's all good, it's all good. Burnouts, all right. Finished up pool workout. Uh, took some pictures. You guys obviously follow my Instagram so you would see it. So that's going to conclude this workout. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Love you guys. All right, so since it is Friday night, I decided to take the girlfriend out for, well, it's supposed to work out for me, but just a dinner for her. And uh, we are here. She's shining. One pause for the camera. I am so full. Okay, so just so you guys know, this is what Jess and I ordered. Uh, 25 pieces of sashimi, or tuna, 40, 50 pieces of sashimi, two beef teriyaki, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Killed it.